the final throes of a crucial campaign for this conservative German regional deputy, and one of his last chances to win over voters who, according to polls, are turning their backs on Chancellor Angela Merkel's Christian Democrats in droves. The race could be dangerously close, meaning all hands on deck for the last days of the race. Tonight, the regional interior minister lends his support. Under the glare of the cameras, they try to hide their frayed nerves. It's an intense campaign, it's true, but I think that we are going to manage to maintain the coalition that's in place. I'm sure of it. And of course, in my district, I'm fighting for every vote. After 58 years, the danger that the CDU will cede power to the left is real. In a region with an economy the size of Belgium's, which industrial giants Daimler, Porsche and Bosch call home, polls show the center-right coalition trailing a likely alliance of the Greens and the Social Democrats. Voters are frustrated with the Conservatives over a range of issues, the most emotional of which is the demolition of Stuttgart's historic railway station to make way for an ultra-modern underground facility. Residents call the planned station a superfluous money pit and have held regular protests against it for the last six months, events that have started to look like anti-CDU election rallies in recent weeks. I have already made my choice and it will be a protest vote. I hope that other residents vote like I do because after years with the Conservatives, we need a change. The issue of nuclear power in particular is playing an outsized role this election season in Baden-Württemberg, home to four reactors, following the catastrophe in Japan. Merkel quickly revised her pro-nuclear stance in the run-up to the poll, ordering the temporary shuttering of seven of the country's oldest reactors to allow for safety checks. However, voters dismissed the climb down as pure electioneering, and the Greens, an anti-nuclear outfit since their founding in 1980, have reaped the rewards in the polls. The worst thing is that you have to wait for an accident like this to happen before people stop and think and begin to change their opinion. With the nuclear issue now in the forefront of voters' minds, the CDU could well lose one of its key bastions following a crushing defeat in the northern city-state of Hamburg in February. Analysts say this could set the stage for further setbacks for Merkel in the three state polls still to come this year.